Hey, so what's going on guys? Make sure we drag the reviews and welcome back to the final video for the Pitaka series of iPhone 13 cases. So right here, I have the Pitaka Mac Easy Case 2. And honestly, out of the three cases they sent to me, I believe that this is the case that I will pick because not only is it slim, but it has all the functionality of the Mac Easy Case Pro, but without the bulk. So I'm a sucker for thin cases. So even though this cost $59.99, I believe this is the most worth it of the bunch. At least for me, when I'm comparing the Pitaka Air case with the Pitaka Mac Easy case too. Yes, there will be uh, people who will like the Air case because it's super thin and lightweight. But for me, I do not mind the bulk because it gives me max safe functionality. And I think having a case with max safe functionality is actually future-proofing your investment. So. Yes, my pick will be this case. That's the reason I kept the best for the last. Alright, so enough talking. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, do hit the subscribe button and also enable notifications so you can get notified on the latest videos which I post. And without further ado, let's get right into the unboxing and review of the Pitaka Mac Easy Case 2 for the iPhone 13 Pro Max. Alright guys, so we are back and you can see I have the Pitaka Mac Easy Case 2 and I also have the Pitaka Air Case on my iPhone 13 Pro Max right now. Of course, I've been testing the Mac Easy Case 2 for at least 5 days and then I switched back to the Air Case. Uh, but anyways, let's uh, remove the Air Case so you can see the beautiful Sierra Blue. Alright, let's put it to the side. Okay, here we go. Alright, let's quickly go through the unboxing. So on the top, you can see Pitaka Mac Easy Case 2 for iPhone 13 Pro Max so you can see 6.7 inches so this weighs 26 grams slightly heavier than the Pitaka Air case but I think the additional weight which is also negligible uh, is worth the extra function that this case brings which I will be showing you guys later so you can see only 1.4 mm thick or I should say thin in this case and you can see MagSafe compatible and made with genuine aramid fiber so that is the highlight of the case so you want to know that you are paying top dollar for something that uses good material so on the back you can see the features of this case as well similar to the front slim and protective magsafe compatible and wireless charging friendly of course magsafe compatible means it's wireless charging friendly in general so when you buy this case you are not expecting drop protection because this offers at the most scratch protection because this is a thin case if you want drop protection you want drop protection with magsafe go for the pitaka Mac Easy Pro case as what I reviewed a couple of uh, videos ago so I'll leave that link below if you're interested but we are here for something thin and functional so that's why we have the Pitaka Mac Easy case too all right so that's about it let's slide it out of the sleeve super simple and easy then you get this uh, discrete black box how to remove the case pretty simple of course this is the thicker material so you expect it to be slightly harder to remove than the Pitaka Air case or the Mac Easy case Pro. All right, so taking this out, let's put that to the side and see what comes in the packaging. So we get product catalog, you get a thank you card, and last but not least, we get these uh, foam pads, which you can uh, add to the case if the case doesn't fit so well. But I mean, these cases are made to perfection. Trust me when I say that these cases are made to perfection. Okay, let's take a look at the case itself. I really do love this case. Uh, this was my go-to case. In fact, will be my go-to case right after this video. So I enjoy using this case so much. I think it picks up much less oil stains compared to the Pitaka Air case. Let me bring the Air case right here. You can see oil stains. Same amount of time. I use both of these cases and you can see the difference. This is a slightly rougher texture. I'm not sure we can hear it on camera, but you can see the weaves in the carbon fiber. But the aramid fiber is slightly more pronounced compared to the weaves in the Pitaka Air case. So this is a smoother material overall, both on the inside and outside. Whereas for this, this has more texture to it and I prefer this. Of course, when you look at rigidity, this is super flexible. But on the other hand, this is more rigid because it does have the magnets on the inside as well all right so let's take a look at the inside of the case you can see the magsafe magnet highlighted with this ring of course you can't see an indentation not like the 
Mac Easy Pro case and also the official Apple leather cases or any general Mac safe cases, they do have an indentation, but this doesn't have it. It's buried into the fibers of this case, which is ingenious. It looks so classy because it doesn't have the ugly magnet showing. So you can see right here, this is the alignment part of the case. Um, or should I say the alignment part of the Mac safe. So this helps you to align the wallet, the power bank, and a lot of other accessories and doesn't just keep rolling around on this ring right here so that's a good thing that they added this so this is attention to detail right here so you can see pitaka branding you can see inside how the carbon fiber looks like very nice uh texture i do love how the i can feel the bumps on the case so it feels really really premium you can see some serial number right there and you can see the cutouts are actually spot on very nice cutouts the bottom is basically just a wide open cutout on top as well buttons have big cutout right here on both sides so let me fit it on the 13 pro max me show you guys how this fits so super simple just like that and the case is on so you can see the cutouts and you can see the resivity right here i do have a camera lens protector but it's almost flush with the camera lens protector so that's how thick the lip is on the camera portion very nice on the back of course you get pitaka branding i forgot to mention that buttons of course are white and exposed so you're not going to have any issues but of course yes if you do have oily hands and this is a stainless steel material definitely you're going to be picking up a lot of smudges but it's pretty easy to clean up because it's such a wide opening bottom take a closer look on the top very nice super nice uh, it feels really good in the hand that's all i can say they have tapered off the edges really nicely the only places where i find is a bit sharp are at the bottom right here i'll give you a closer look the bottom right here and the top edges right here and of course this this open piece on the top so that's about it other than that this case really feels good in the hand Alright, so let me grab my MagSafe charger and I'll be right back. Alright guys, so I got my MagSafe charger right here. So let's show you how it works in MagSafe. Animations all are there. So I'm going to put my phone right over the MagSafe. You can see, it clicks into place with the animation. And the magnets are strong. Trust me when I say they are strong. You can see what I'm doing here. They are definitely not going anywhere. Even when I try to take it out with my bare hands, I feel like they're super hard to take off. See, it's super hard. I have to actually pull the cable. So I really do enjoy the magnets. These magnets are so much stronger than the, even the official Apple leather case. Uh, these magnets are really awesome. Of course, it does leave a mark, but it can be cleaned off. So can I recommend this case? 100% I can recommend the Mac Easy case too and i think they have uh, really hit the nail on the head with this one and i can't recommend this case enough actually to people who love a minimalistic looking thin case made with premium materials in this case aramid fiber so since all the cases are standardized pricing either pick the mac easy case pro or the mac easy case too so i think these two cases are the ones that you guys should go for even though you do not use MagSafe. because having MagSafe functionality on your cases future proofing your device in case in the event you do buy a MagSafe charger you can use it with this case with no problems at all so anytime you do get a MagSafe charger you're always prepared with a case that supports it and if you do adopt MagSafe with the MagSafe wallet the MagSafe power bank and any MagSafe accessory this case will support it with no issues. So definitely I can recommend this case for $59.99. So yes, definitely a hefty price tag, but remember that you're getting so much more functionality with this case than with any other thin cases in the market. And Pitaka has been in the case market for a while now, and I think they have actually perfected their cases. Of course, I wish the top edges weren't so sharp, but that is just nitpicking. So if you're interested in this case, I'll leave the link in the description below so you can check it out where to purchase this so that's all i got for you guys today so give this video a thumbs up if you did like it and subscribe to the channel for more content just like this one and i'll see you guys in the next video